the holder of envy. In any city, in any country, you could have gone to any pawn shop you could get yourself to. You can't any more. I got there first. Inside, the dealer may have immediately cast you a defensive glare, as if you were a threat. This meant either he was naturally a nasty man, or you have come to the right place. The only way you could have been sure is to ask him if he has any merchandise sold to him by the holder of envy, if, after a quick search on his computer, he glares at you and retreats into the storage room. You'd have been in luck. He won't do this any more. I got there first. He would have handed you a TV with a broken screen and told you to get out of his store at once. It wasn't worth complaining. Leaving was the best solution. Despite the glass being broken, the TV functioned fine, at least in respect to showing you images. It didn't pick up any channels, though. Once it was plugged in, it only showed you a face screaming at you in fury. The accusations it would be throwing you were obviously false, but nonetheless you would be ridden with horrible guilt. If you manage to will yourself past the emotional weight, the face's tirade would have only stopped for one statement. What have they to take from us? The face would have immediately fallen silent, an arm reaching out of the TV screen as the holder pulled himself out. The holder hated the seeker for everything he had and you had to watch as he destroyed all your most precious possessions and burnt down your house. It would have gone so fast. Only the lucky could have escaped with their lives. If you managed to escape the flames, soon the holder would have come out of the wreckage with a flaming sword in an attempt to take your life. He was a strong opponent, having spent his entire existence waiting for a seeker to butcher. His severed left hand is object 345 of 538. It is always grasping for what it can never obtain. This was how you would have found the holder of envy before. But you're not going to find him any more. Because I got there first. <laughs> I was fine. I really was. I could have found a new place to live. But I wasn't thinking. The notes didn't tell me the house was going to be burned down. My bills were in there. My cash was in there. I couldn't... I didn't have anywhere else to go. I tried to stay at my brother's house for a while. He didn't much like the hand. No one can convince me to give up my object. It's the only thing I have left. I have nothing left but this hand. I drove away everyone and everything who might have wanted to take it from me. I've been homeless ever since then. I would give my own left hand for a roof over my head. But not the holder's hand. Never. But no one will take me any more. My face has gone white. I creep in the alleyways digging for scraps. People are scared of me. My eyes are getting wider each day. People flee from me when they see me with my hand. They point at me and call me a monster. I hiss at them for fearing me. They only fear me because they are spoiled and pampered. They 
do not understand the suffering I feel. They put me in a large place, a large place with pads. They wanted to take the hand from me. I bit one of them. They hurt me. They took it and put it in a box. But it came back to me. I held it in the corner of the room. I loved it. I would never let it go. The lights went out. Things are different now. I am in control of my own little world now. The hand disappeared, but I still feel like it's with me somehow. My own left hand tingles a little bit. I like it. Come and see me, seeker. If you dare to face the new and unknown path that lies before you on your journey to find the holder of envy. Good luck.